Bobby Soxer. It's Blue here, and uh, I have some updates and a little game tutorial. Um, sorry, I haven't been posting videos for a couple of days, one or two days, because my charger broke and I had to go get a new one from my Mac, and they're pretty expensive. But warranty covers it. So um, I'm going to teach you how to make like uh, an outro, like this one. One sec, what the heck? <laughs> Uh, okay, so, um, one sec. So, I'm going to be teaching you how to make something like this, but you can only link YouTube videos, which sucks. So, um, yeah, it'll look like this. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's get started. So, open up GIMP and make a new file width is 1280 height is 720 then click OK <clears throat> should look like a uh, rectangle I guess so get your gradient tool um, pick whatever two colors I'm gonna do red and black and click somewhere in the middle drag out to any corner wait whoops oh select uh, not linear select uh, red radial bleh. And then drag out, and then it'll look like that. <coughs> and then, uh, so now you have your background, and we're gonna start making like the boxes and stuff. You could do whatever in the boxes, I don't really care, but first let's make them. So, make one box, and then go make a, make a new layer, name it box one. And then fill it in, get your fill bucket, go to pattern fill, and then select the warning, fill it in, turn the opacity down to 10. 10 looks the best, so do that. Um, then we are going to go to select, border, make it somewhere around 5 and 10. 7 looks probably the best. And then you could do box 1 border. Or I'm going to do border 1. And then reset to default. And you can make it white looks the best. But make sure you have FG color fill. And it looks like that. Go to select. And then actually, I'm going to scale this down just a bit. To right about there, no, right about there. So there we go. Actually, we can't do that. Um. So I'm gonna restart this whole process, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did it, and it should look fit look like this. If you like the little moving things, go to select and then none. Um, now we're going to do it to the same exact side, so duplicate duplicate the box one and then duplicate, yeah, just do the box one first. Get your flip tool, click in the middle, double click if you're on a Mac. Did the wrong thing, whoops. Why is it? Hmm. Oh, okay. So we're going to duplicate that, and there we go. Then we're going to duplicate the border, and then flip it. There we go. So now it's symmetrical and everything, so it looks really neat. And let's um, now do a little box down here that says subscribe. You could center it however you want. I'm going to put it right about here. Up a tiny bit. And uh, fill it in with your pattern. 
make a new layer first, name it sub box, <coughs> turn the opacity down to 10, and then fill it in. There we go, neat. And then add another border, 7. Make sure it's the same as these two. It looks more neat. Make a new layer, you could do border 2. Get your uh, paint. Make sure it's FG color or else it'll put enough pattern. And then do select none. And there we go. Um, now we are going to put some labels. So grab your text. And I'm going to do um, planet cosmos. Cosmos. I don't know how to say it properly. Um, if you're wondering how to install custom fonts, there is a tutorial on my channel. So, Planet... No. Um, Planet Cosmos. Cosmos. If you want to see what that looks like, make sure the text is white too. It looks really good. And the size is 50. So, if you're wondering what Planet Cosmos looks like, it looks like that. Pretty sweet. Um, yeah, just go look at my installing font... Uh, whatever you call it, video, and you'll see how to do it. Um, I'm going to go install a cool font, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I got a font called Space Age. So now what you're going to do is um, customize your boxes. So first I'm going to do my subscribe one. And then make sure it's easy, really easy if you uh, fill in the space. And then just move it right in the middle. Um, I don't know how to center it, so just do your best. If you know how to center it, go ahead, do that. If you want to tell me, go ahead, do that. <laughs> and um, now you can add another text box and do. Hmm. Um. You could do previous video. I'm gonna do that. See how hard it is when you don't layer it. If you have skills, then go ahead, do whatever you want. <laughs> I don't mind. There we go. And then we could do um. We could do. Um, let me think. Uh, what do people usually have? Um, let's do. I I'm gonna be right back again and go think. Because this might take a really long time. <laughs> okay, I figured out, and I'm gonna do a mystery video. <sighs> Basically, what that is, click on the annotation, and it will bring you to a obviously mystery video. Right there, center it just like that. There we go. Close. Thank you. So there's your little thing. And I'll make another tutorial on how to like put a video like in the little box at the end. So yeah. Um that's basically how you make your outro. And go to well save as uh name it whatever. I'll do outro. Go to select file type, go down until you see GIF, give save, replace, oh, oh, export, and then save. And boom, you're done. Just add it to the end of your video. And it's as simple as that. Um, comment what you guys think of my new intro <coughs> and my outro if you want. And yeah, spent a lot of time on that.
intro. I had to do that on my Windows because I can't upgrade to the full version on my Mac for some reason, so I just did it on my Windows. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Later. I am literally in the air right now, wrapping up a store. This first class, I am so new at this. Used to ride a metro, let us hit this retro. Like the infrareds on my feet, baby, let's go. Send out your what they know me by.